everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here I'm so glad you stopped by today I am reviewing the Cockshear cocktail shaker set now they contacted me and wanted to know if I would do a review and it just so happens I needed a new one so we're gonna unbox this together and see how it is now this is vacuum insulated with stainless steel so it's kind of nice it's vacuum insulated because it's not going to form like condensation on the outside which is nice so let's see what's inside there's a little booklet and there's looks like all sorts of recipes we have mojito pina colada margarita all the yummy yummy classic cocktails but don't worry we're going to be making two special cocktails today and when we try this out we're going to be making an espresso martini and a cotton candy cocktail so those are both really good cocktails if you want to have a little gathering um, they're perfect for people so uh, this is how it comes it was in this little plastic wrap and here it is look at that you guys now honestly i've never seen a cocktail shaker that has these nice grooves on there and i think this is actually going to be really helpful because it's going to help you grip onto the shaker better and then um let's see this looks like it twists off oh yeah and there's stuff inside there oh see this is great everything fits inside there's the jigger with the different um, ounce sizes and it also has that pretty uh, design on there and then it comes with a spoon and it, this also it can double as a muddler so if you want to make like a mojito or something you want to smash the lime and the mint together now i can definitely tell this is double insulated so this looks really nice it's a good size um, and i love that it has a rubber gasket now the one i have um i'll show it to you later the one i have does not have a rubber seal so sometimes when i'm shaking it the lid will kind of almost want to pop off but i don't think that is going to happen with this one because it seems really sturdy and um yeah so that's everything that came with it so far it looks like really good quality oh and then let's take the top off oh and then that also has a rubber gasket and then it just has you know the holes on top where the the your drink will pour out of so this all looks really good so why don't we make a cocktail and then I saw one more feature about the lid. Look, it has six ounces and three ounces. So this can also uh, double as a measuring cup, which is really nice. Okay, so the first cocktail that we're gonna be making is an espresso martini. Now, this is such a delicious one. Now I wanna show you why I don't like my old cocktail shaker. Do you see, I put the ice in here and how it's already forming this condensation and it's almost like freezing on there and it makes my hands so cold so and then i also wanted to tell you see there's no rubber gasket so this is like a cheapie i think it was like 15 dollars maybe um but anyway we're gonna be using the good one so i have some crushed ice and i'm just gonna pour it in here now whenever i'm making a cocktail I like to use crushed ice. I, I feel like it gets the drink a little bit colder than if you're just using cubed ice, but if that's all you have, that's totally fine. Now the ingredients that you're gonna need for this cocktail is some vodka. Now you wanna use a decent quality one, not a real cheap one. This is sort of middle of the road. It's called Svedka, and we're gonna be using two ounces of that. And now we're gonna be using a half an ounce of Kahlua. This is coffee flavored liqueur, and it's just gonna add a nice little sweetness to our cocktail. And of course, it wouldn't be an espresso martini without espresso. I don't actually have an espresso machine. I just get those Starbucks little espresso packets and mix up my own, 
um, and it, it'll be fine for this cocktail and we're gonna need one ounce. And last but not least, we are gonna need some simple syrup. And all simple syrup is is equal parts of water, equal parts of granulated sugar. You can buy it already made in a bottle, but it's like $5. So you could make a whole gallon of it for $5 at home. And we're gonna need a half an ounce. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is our vodka. Now, the larger part of the jigger is one ounce and the bottom is a half an ounce. So we're gonna need two of these. Now I have my one ounce of espresso. We will pour that in there. Now you guys, so far, this is not cold at all. It's perfectly uh, like room temperature. So I'm super impressed so far. Okay, now I have my half ounce of Kahlua. And my half ounce of simple syrup. Okay, now we'll just put on our lid. Now, this is not the kind of lid where you just push it down. You're actually going to twist it. And it'll have a really nice tight seal. And now the same with the top part. You're just going to screw it on there really tight like that. And then we are just going to give it a really good shake. Now, I like to shake my cocktails for about 30 seconds so they get really, really frosty. So you're not gonna watch all of that. I'll be right back. All right, so I was shaking for about 30 seconds. And of course, we are gonna need a martini glass. So let's pour it in there. Mm, 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 mm. Seems to come out really nicely. Yum. Still, not an ounce of water or condensation on the outside. It's not cold to the touch at all. Now, you'll see it has a, like a little foam on top and that's exactly what you want. And then the traditional way to serve it is with a couple of coffee beans, just like that. Oops. And there you have it, an espresso martini. Let's take a sip, shall we? Oh my gosh, so good. You guys have to try this. Okay, so the next one we're gonna be make, making is such a fun drink. I love making these at parties. Um, and it's so fun to watch the cotton candy like disappear into the drink. Now you can use any color of cotton candy that you would like. Um, today I have this rainbow unicorn cotton candy. Um, I'm just gonna probably try to pick out mostly the pink parts though. And you're gonna need two ounces of vodka. Now you can use regular vodka. You could use whipped cream flavored vodka, strawberry vodka, any flavor you like that's fruity, but I'm just using the plain today. And then we're gonna be using a little bit of triple sec, which is like an orange flavored liqueur and some fresh squeezed lemon juice. Now, if you want, um, I realized I didn't have any uh, corn syrup, but you can rim the glass with colored sugar and it looks really pretty that way, but I didn't realize I have any corn syrup, so I have no way to make it stick. So all you do is just get some corn syrup, put it on a plate, um, and then um, dip your glass in there and then another little plate with this and then just it'll stick to the rim. Now again, this is optional, but I think it is so fun. This is called luster dust or edible glitter. And when you put it in a drink, it makes it really shimmery and pretty. Um, and it comes in all kinds of colors, but today I'm using the kind of goldish champagne color and you only need a little bit. So for this cocktail, you're gonna need two ounces of the vodka. One ounce of the fresh lemon juice. And a half ounce of the triple sec. Now I just want to show you guys that you really do not need too much of this. Just like that much. 
All right, I shook it for about 30 seconds. So let's pour it over. Look at that, isn't it fun? And see, it just totally dissolves in there. Now, unfortunately, I'm filming outside and the sun is just going down, so you can't really see how it shines. But trust me, during the day, you get these, it gives a really nice swirl effect and little pieces of glitter in there, but don't worry, you don't taste it and um, you don't feel it in your mouth. It just, it just dissolves, so. So isn't that a fun cocktail? So. Here are my final thoughts on this cocktail shaker. I highly recommend it. It's a great size. It's easy to grip because of those ridges. It does not get cold in the least. It still doesn't even feel slightly cold. So I know that double insulated wall is really working. And I did want to tell you this is called a cobbler style shaker. It's a three piece cobbler style. They also make another style, not this company, but there are two basic styles of cocktail shakers, the Cobbler and the Boston. And I'm sure you've seen the Boston one before. It's just a one piece of metal and then you put the glass, you put a glass on top of it and you shake it that way. A lot of restaurants use it um, because you can make drinks a lot faster than you can in one of these. But for home use, this is absolutely perfect. And I think it's definitely worth the price. And if you go uh, in my description box, um, the people at Cockshear have uh, given us a discount code that you can use. I believe it's 25% off and I will have that link for you guys. So if you're in need of a cocktail shaker, highly recommend this one. So thanks for watching. We will see you on the next video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Bye everybody.